many tractors does it take to pull swap the thing across the field? Okay, so we're here at the Devon Truck Show and it's been an absolute nightmare to get in. Um, I've never had my trailer so stuck. At the moment it's stuck where it is and the reason why we're unloading it now is trying to get some weight out the back of it so we can put it to where it actually needs to be. Um, if you have a spin round and have a look you can see where I came in. And that was three tractors pulling it and it's so buried in the ground that even some of the wheels aren't spinning around because it's just sitting on the bottom of the trailer but let's get Swamp Thing unloaded and then see if we can move it a little bit later on What a hard place to get into. This ground here is so soft uh, and we got my trailer absolutely stuck. Um, it had three tractors trying to get it into where we wanted to park it up in the arena and we didn't actually get it there so we had to abandon it on the side of the arena. Um, it view, blocked a little bit of viewing but hopefully it's going to dry up today and we'll be able to get it moved. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to the shows that are coming up. Um, Let's get to some of the action.
when we was at the Devon Truck Show, got some real cool fan art. Now, Aiden has done a fantastic job on these. He's done the 20th anniversary from start to finish. So he's done the original Swamp Thing when it had its petrol engine, everything in it. So that was when I first had the truck. Then he'd done it how it normally looks. It's got loads of detail on it. Aiden's done a fantastic job. And I know he watches the vlogs. And this is where we are now. Up onto the, the this year's body with all the chrome work on it. Thank you, Aiden. It looks fantastic. This really means a lot to me when people go to the effort of drawing my truck. Okay, so we've had a busy day here at the Devon Truck Show. The ground conditions have been a bit challenging, not for the monster truck, but for the trailer and stuff, and we've got it stuck a lot. Um, we've actually got it now parked where we wanted to get it parked originally, but we've had to unload the monster truck and get it towed again with another tractor. Only one tractor this time, not the three tractors that it was the other day when it got stuck. But let's go around and have a look at some of these amazing trucks here at the Devon Truck Show at night. It was only meant to blow the bloody doors off. Okay, so it's day two. Wow, we managed to get the trailer moved from where it was. It was it was parked along there yesterday, and it has dried out enough that we can get it to move to where it is, where we wanted to have it here at the side of the arena, right next to the Big P and the Green Reaper truck. So this is where we wanted to get it yesterday because it block, did block a lot of viewing but I can show you how much mud it had to go through. It actually bottomed the trailer out. 
So before we go home, we're gonna have to take the wheels off because the mud has come squeezed through the wheels. So the, the gap in between the, the two tires is completely full and it's got so full, it's actually squeezed it out into all the wheels. Uh, and it's even done it on the front ones. So you can see there, that is where all the mud has squeezed through the two tires together. The front ones and, and that don't do it because they're super singles. But we're gonna have to clean that. We can't drop it, that's gonna be loads of mud if we was driving that on the road. We're gonna have to clean that before we leave. Ah, here are the main culprits. CJ from Big Pete. It's a crossover video. It's a crossover video. And uh, Michael. Hi. So uh, if you don't. Hey, stop oh, it. I'm the dog. I'm the dog. Chevy down team, there. Team, team dog. Stop it. The only, the only dog eats everything you give her. Like, you can give her a, a, a rubber off an exhaust, a ball. Oh, she loves rubber off exhaust. Yeah, yeah, she does, yeah. But yeah, so if you don't know them, please, I'm going to put a link into their channel below because they drive these amazing trucks. Uh, Big Pete. How, how would you describe Big P? How, how would you do? I describe it, Tony. Yeah. As like driving a wardrobe down some stairs. Uh, I can believe it. I've driven it across a field. Yeah. And I would not jump it. I would not jump it. Grim Reaper's oh, oh. probably not too dissimilar. It's like driving into a car crash. Yeah. But that's driving a wardrobe down some stairs. Yeah, because this is a an old school monster truck, so it's got leaf spring suspension on it. Probably, I'd imagine. Maximum, maximum six inches, probably four. That much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> suspension yeah. compared to uh, on the re <laughs> Reaper Hammer suspension 18. you got? 18. I've got 26 on mine, so that, that is the Ew, difference. 18, 26 <laughs> inches. Yeah. But yeah. It's not the length, it's what you do with it that yes. matters. Oh, you do, you do damage, you two. You do absolute damage. The, this thing is seven and a half tons. It's not a fiberglass body, that is an aluminium truck body on an old school monster truck. The only one operating in the world, and that is some piece of kit. So I'm gonna put a link in for them below so you can check out some of their videos. They do some really, really cool and kooky stuff on their channel, and it's a real good laugh. So make sure you check out Big Pete. <laughs> oh, yeah, you hate being in the videos, don't you? Yeah, so we're in the shop here at the Devon Truck Show. Loads of people are waiting for the Solent Stars to come out. They're going to do their first show at half ten, and then we're on at eleven.
just finished the last show here at the Devon Truck Show and we broke something. Now, we landed in the cast and it's caught the tailgate and it's caught under, under here, not the switch off, but it also ripped the hydraulic line. So this fitting was on there and it's just ripped it off as it's been caught. So we just got to change it now. It's a little bit awkward. We have to take the fuel pump, uh, sorry, the steering pump out because there's no room for it to get the hose off with the fuel tank in the way. So I'm just gonna take the fuel, um, loosen off the, uh, the steering pump and then we can change all the hoses. Okay, so we've got the new pipe fitted. All we have to do now is replace all the, the oil we lost. And of course, there's absolutely nothing on the stick and we're gonna, we're gonna be using Lucas oil. And we actually use Lucas power steering or transmission fluid. So we use the same stuff we'll use in the gearbox. So let's top it up now. Little trick, by the way, if you pull the fr from this way up, it actually lets air back into the bottle and it doesn't glow. A lot of people pour it that way around and it doesn't let air rip back into the bottle. So it's gonna take probably three of these. So come back and see me in a minute. <laughs> So we're back from the Devon truck show. We got the monster truck loaded in the trailer. Um, we fixed that steering hose, but the steering isn't still working properly. I'm just hoping we, uh, I just chucked three liters in this pot, actually takes nearly 10 liters to fill it up. But I didn't think we actually lost that much. So I'm just putting some more ATF in it to find out if that fixes the problem. Or we will, might not, we might still have a problem with the steering rams. Now I've got, new parts on order for it but they're not in yet but i should have enough bits to fix it if it's broken another steering ram or it might might have broken the pump so i'm not really sure at the minute but we'll just just top it up see if we got a little bit of steering and then get it back into the workshop oh it's definitely full now it's leaking <laughs> can you put a tray underneath it georgina quick Definitely full now. <laughs> so I don't, I think we've got a problem somewhere else because it, it wasn't that low on oil. So I put four liters in it and that takes nearly 10 to fill it up. So we haven't lost everything. Well, let's get it into the workshop and diagnose what the problem is. We've got a couple of other bits to fix on it. For some reason, it hasn't got an alternator belt on it now. Um, so we need to put a new one of them on it and then go around and check the truck and We've got some body damage, so we have to fix that as well. So there's definitely a problem with the steering because it does whatever it likes. 
So what we got to do now is we got all the tires over there. We got to stick them all back in the trailer because we're gonna, no, I normally stick them in the spray booth bit at the back, but we're gonna have to fix some bodywork. So we're gonna need that room. So let's load the tires back in. now you've seen what i do right so we just strap, strap the tires into the top ones just in case they try and fall out and then we can winch them up to the roof So they don't actually sit on the winches, they actually sit on these pieces of metal or actually let into the side of the trailer. And actually behind all the aluminium, all this aluminium checker plate, there's actually a piece that's welded from the roof all the way to the floor. So it's not relying on just the wall, it's actually welded all together behind it because there's a fair bit of weight up there. So there's, there's over one tonne of tires sitting up on the top of there. And also, there's these little spikes in it, which is actually, if you look in here, on the frame, it's got those little spikes go up inside there, and that stops this all sliding around when in transport. So now this frame is locked into the trailer, it can't slide anywhere. It can't actually bounce out because there's so much weight on it. And also the tires would try and hit the roof anyway before we did that. So we just got to put the next two tires in and then we can put the trailer back into the workshop.
<laughs> made me jump then. Uh, yeah, so all I'm going to do now is drain the water from our water tank, which is actually on the front of this. So I've just got a little adapter that goes in. Pull this off. And that's us draining our water tank. So we have nice fresh water for next time we go away. Talk about the problem we had on the very last jump of the Devon Truck Show. We did a really nice jump, real rig, high sky wheelie. Unfortunately, you can see by the damage here, we actually caught the car with the last, oh sorry, caught the truck on the last car and it shut off under here, under here, this little switch. That turns the power on and off to the truck, but it also broke the hydraulic line there. And that let the steering turn at the back when we was doing a jump. And what also it's done, so we've damaged the bodywork here, which is not too bad because that's why we never used to put anything on the tailgate to be honest because we always used to damage the tailgates but what it's done is it's caught the tire in here bent this round which we can fix easy but it's actually torn the bodywork so this is what we got to fix next i haven't tried it with a rack before what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this piece out drop it back into the mold clamp it into the mold and put a new piece in there and then seeing if I can wrap over the top of it without having to do any painting. Don't know if it's going to work. If not, we've got some other panels on, and VK Graphics have already ordered to be up some more chrome to wrap a complete new panel. But let's see if we can do a spot repair on the one we've got here. So here is the damage on the side of Swamp Thing. So this is the side panel. So the tyres caught it here, bent this in. I've already straightened up this mount on the truck because that's really easy to do but it's just torn it through here now i haven't tried to do this before with a wrap on it so we're going to find out how it comes out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it, the this panel off all the way through here all the way through chop this piece off completely then go in on the inside of this sand all this up so we've got a nice surface to key into and then we're putting this back in the mold and clamping this down and and seeing if we can repair this because you can see up to there where the damage is so if i cut it up a bit further there's no damage or stress in that bit and then see if we can just repay just replace the bottom piece and then just wrap it over here again don't know if it's going to work but there's only one way to find out So there is the piece what we've cut off. You can see it's quite quite thick the fiberglass on it, but if that if that was a steel panel, that would have been absolutely destroyed and it would have destroyed all of this as well. So Georgina has just finished cleaning it all back up. We've already sanded the the back side of this in there. So when we drop it back in the mould, it's already prepared. So yeah, so we've cut that piece off. Now we've got to get the mould out, which is there, put it on the table, polish that up, and then clamp this down in the mould as tight as we can get it. So then we can put a new piece on there. So we've waxed the mould, we've got it all clamped down in there, and now we're just gonna put in the gel coat to bridge the gap. Gotta be quite careful with this. I don't want to get it on my clamps. And we're gonna to have to put one lot of fiberglass down around the clamps. And then take the clamps off and then put some more fiberglass over the top of it with no clamps on it. By that time, we should have enough stiction with it that it shouldn't ping off.
Now, I don't know if it's going to work because I've never done it like this. But at the moment, the panel's broken anyway. So we haven't really got much to lose. We've only got a little bit of time, a little bit of fiberglass. And we might have a success. <laughs> So now we're at the stage of putting the fiberglass back into the bottom. So we've got the gel coat down, that's all tacked off. And this is where we're joining the pieces together. Now I'm gonna to have to just go up and do a few pieces to bridge the gap and then we can take off the clamps and sand it down and then bond over the piece. It's not gonna be the strongest joint, this. I know that for a start, but it should be strong enough to hold it on there and eventually it might get some cracks in it, but it'll look a lot better than it did. <laughs> Alright, so it's the next day, we've left it overnight to dry. Now is the moment of truth to see what the repair looks like on the other side. Hopefully it's sat down nice and smooth. And we haven't got a huge mark. I'm hoping that we could just basically polish the little bit of the fiberglass and new gel coat we put on it, and then get Calvin in from VK Graphics just to put the wrap just on the bottom part of it. I've never done it this way before. I've done, I've done it with. We can trim that piece off later. I've done it with paint, but I've never done it with a wrap. Uh, let's get this thing out. Oh, this bit's trying to get your fingers in somewhere to pull it. Just got to get a bit of leverage on it. Get the other out. What's it going to look like? What's it look like, Georgina? Looks pretty good. It looks alright, does it? Yeah. You think we're going to get away with it? Yeah, I think so. Looks really nice. There is absolutely no line there at all. Spot on. Spot on, that is. So yeah, so we can get Calvin to re-wrap from there downwards on this on this little line there. So you shouldn't see where the wrap is going. All we've got to do is trim it up. But that's going to be it for this vlog. You have to come back to see when we've got it all finished because we've got to fit, fit it to the truck and drill all the holes and everything in it, trim it all up. But I think that's going to be a successful repair for this video. I hope you enjoyed the Devon Truck Show. It was a bit of a challenge. Um, but don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Most of my people who watch the videos aren't subscribed. You should do it. It's free. You'll find out where the next video is if you smash the bell. But thank you, guys. See you on the next one. Just to know what you